I joined an online dating agency and I got liked. I got liked by a 90s rock star, an actual 90s rock star, a proper 90s rock star. I was like, oh my God. We met in a pub and I was all nervous. Oh my God. And he was all gorgeous. Oh my God. When I left, I had a text message from him. Oh, he's texting me already. It was a picture of his torso. Oh, just his naked torso. No head, no hips, just, it wasn't like a hunk. He was like this like skinny thing. So I thought, well, maybe the flirting game's changed. Maybe this is how people talk and flirt nowadays. I don't know. He'd say things to me like, I never thought I could go for someone as short as you. I don't believe in monogamy. Can I talk dirty to you? OK. You're a fat old bag. A million alarm bells had been ringing along the way, and yet he was interesting and funny. A 90s rock star, an actual 90s. After a few months, he started to tell me that he loved me and that he wanted to meet my kid. If you love me and want to meet my kid and want to be a part of our lives, then perhaps you should ditch the other girls you're seeing. And he went, I've whittled it down to three. One girl I'm seeing, she's 22. She's got the face of an angel. The other one, she's like a racehorse. Then there's you. I said, look, if you love me, it's got to be just me. So he agreed to be monogamous. Finally, I let him meet my boy. And my boy looked at him and instantly went, I don't like you. All right, mate. He went to the loo and he left his phone on the table. It was a message from the racehorse. It was babbling on about her cat needing to go to the vet and what time was he going to be home. The pennies all dropped. There wasn't just one penny, there was hundreds of pennies. I quickly got a napkin, I scrawled her number down, waited till I got home and I phoned her. Ten hours I was on the phone. We got our diaries out, we worked out all the times he'd lied. Every time he said to me, I'm up north, babe. He didn't mean the north of England, he meant north London. He had templates of the same email that he'd sent each of us. Like, I'm not going to bother writing separate love letters, I'll just like omit racehorse to podgy, cuddly woman. That was the moment. What I learned is when alarm bells ring, even just very early on in a relationship, heed them. It is not a drill. It is never a false alarm. Go.